All right, everyone, in this episode today, I'm gonna speak with you about the lifestyle visit. And do you need to actually book a lifestyle visit? Uh, Do you have any options if the lifestyle visits are booked? What are they, what to expect, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, in my opinion? I'm Robin Cavallaro. I'm a licensed realtor here in Florida, primarily sell in the villages. I am a buyer's agent. So if you're interested in somebody that represents you and your best interests, you definitely want to give me a call. I'll have my contact information posted out throughout this video. All right. So let's talk about what is a lifestyle visit. Um, So you have the opportunity to visit and check the villages out um, through what they call a lifestyle visit, which is um, you book that through the villages and it's available on their website. You can stay from four to seven days. And I want to say they put you up. You pay for this visit um, anywhere between $99 and I think it's $99 a night. And they have designated areas where um, they have lifestyle homes. Um, Right now, they used, well, years ago, they were up at Lake Sumter Landing. Then they moved the lifestyle homes down to uh, Brownwood. And now they're selling those. And all of the lifestyle visit stays are either down in, where is it, like St. Catherine Citrus Grove or in Deluna. So um, it's a great way to come and discover the villages, but you do have some options. Before we start, make sure you go to my website, robincavallero.com, and here's the address here. Uh, You can search for any home that's available here, well, in Florida, but in the villages. And what I've done is I've broken it down by sections. So if you want to search the historic area, you want to search Marion County, you want to search south of 44, and on and on. You can just click on it and search it. You can save the searches. It'll send you emails with market updates. You get notes from me all of the time reminding you, hey, I'm here. Do you need help? So don't forget, go and search my website and also get my book. It's available in Amazon on print, in print on Amazon. Also, you can get it on Kindle or as a download on my website. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Um, When you book the lifestyle, they assign you a sales representative from the VLS, and I'll touch on that briefly because you need two uh, VLS and MLS representation if you want to see pre-owned homes. Um, So um, you book the lifestyle, uh, they assign you the agent, and you get... Uh, The homes will have a golf cart and bicycles and they give you some freebies, uh, tickets, and they'll book tea times for you. Uh, The VLS agent will take you on a tour of the area, will probably show you new homes. Um, And it's a great way to stay here. But the other option is, because I know right now, and this is August, what is it, today is the 22nd, 2023, uh, I've been told they're booked up through October. And, you know, you could possibly call in and find that um, there might be an opening or a cancellation, but primarily they're now booking out into October. Um, you also can visit and book an Airbnb or on VRBO, and I'll put, you know, those websites there. And and you can book a stay at one of those for four and seven days. Uh, Many of the homes will include a golf cart, and um, you can, sorry about that. Um, (laughs) That's no caller ID. They're definitely not getting me to pick up. Uh, Where was I? So uh, four to seven days. Oh, they give you a VRBO um, or Airbnb. They'll have a golf cart and and some of them don't. They're all in different areas. So if you maybe don't want to stay down south of 44 where the current lifestyle homes are and you maybe want to experience four to seven days somewhere else in the villages, then maybe an Airbnb or VRBO uh, might be your better option. 
when you visit, so let's say um, regardless if you book a, a, a lifestyle or you know come on your own, you might even stay in a hotel and there are plenty of hotels around here. Um, you, I would be happy to show you around, which I do all of the time. And if you're visiting and you wanna book me for a tour, um, take a look at this. You can do that here on my website. You just click one of the buttons of what you want to accomplish, and that'll secure uh, you on my calendar and me on yours, and I'll send us reminders, most importantly, of that we have something coming up. But um, that's a great opportunity, and you always can call and ask for a representative from the villages to show you around. Of course, they have to show you new. If you want pre-owned, then you must have uh, someone like myself, an MLS, realtor or one of the village's sales associate, I swear to God, somebody's always mowing their lawn on the street. <laughs> Every time I go to video, I hear the lawnmower, except for mine. Um, anyway, MLS and VLS, if you want to see pre-owned um, throughout the community. But, um, you know, if you do it on your own, stay in a hotel, whatever, you, you still can share the same experiences. You might not get some of the freebies, but seriously, you know, freebies, what are they gonna be, 100, 200 bucks? You know, um, if you wanna get in sooner than the villages can get you in, then maybe uh, that would be a really great option. Uh, here are some important tips that you should know about when you're visiting the villages, whether it's on a lifestyle or you are coming on your own. First off, I don't know, it always seems like my head, there's so much space between my head and <laughs> um, Number one, the gates. You should know that we are a community filled with gates, but we're not gated. So all you have to do when you're visiting, if you wanna get into one of the neighborhoods, is push the button. Go through the gate. If you go through and there's a visitor and there is a resident side, you can go through either, just push the button and it'll let you in. The gates are there to kind of slow the cars down and the golf carts so we don't hit one another. Um, if there's a guard at the gate, they're just gonna wave. They're going to let you through. They're there for assistance. If you have a question, you're lost, please stop and ask them some questions. But other than that, they're gonna wave you through. So do not be afraid to visit and check out the areas because that's my next tip is <clears throat> I know everyone wants to come here and play around with that golf cart, but I'm gonna tell you 98% uh, of the people that are here for a short period of time get lost, their phone's going dead, and they don't know how to get back to where they're going. So you, <laughs> I strongly suggest that you take your car out and check out the area because when you're here, for a lifestyle, you're really here most of the time to check out the area to see if it's right for you. And how are you gonna know that if all you do are go and look at homes? That's an important part because you wanna see homes in your price range, in your style, where they're located, but really come and check out the neighborhoods because I have so many people who will come and they're looking online for years or months or whatever and they say, oh, I only want this section, I don't want this, I don't want that. But when they come down, they change your mind because they see, oh, you know what? I really don't like whatever section it is and I don't like that style home. I thought I was going to like it, but I really don't when I see it in person. So <clears throat> make sure you spend more time exploring than maybe looking at homes if you're just checking the area out for the first time to see if it's right for you. Now, if you are coming here with the intention to purchase, obviously you're gonna wanna make sure that you see as many homes as possible. I'm sorry, I sit on my feet and then my feet hurt. I'm gonna just lower this a little bit. Okay, so you wanna, oh now I made it crooked. <laughs> All right, so you wanna make sure that you're definitely going to explore, and this is still crooked, I saw, I'm sorry. Uh, I just, you, you need to know the behind the scenes stuff that we go through as content creators here, trying to make everything look good. Um, 
So you want to make sure you definitely check out the area and, you know, check out the surrounding areas because when you live here, your whole life might not be surrounded about the villages. It might be you have you want to go to the beach, you want to, I don't know, check out, you know, museums or amusement parks and just see how far these things are. Um, when you come, if you're flying into Orlando, uh, there is ground transportation. There are a couple of companies that have bus service um, or you can hire a private car to bring you here. And of course, if you're renting a place with a golf cart, you don't necessarily need a car, but I cannot stress enough to my point previously, you really need to explore the area. I highly recommend that you have a vehicle to get around in, or <clears throat> at the very least, you've contacted myself or a um, VLS agent, which you need to call me, <laughs> to make sure you uh, check out all the areas. Um, the golf cart thing, again, is like a nightmare for some people. They get lost and they don't know where they are. So, you know, spend some time on the cart, but make sure you have a car. Um, what else should you do during your stay? So this is what I suggest. If you're here from four to seven days, day one, check in get acclimated, go have something to eat, go check out the town square that you're nearest and uh, enjoy some music, have a drink, you know, get to get the flavor of the community. Um, make sure you spend at least a day traveling around on your own exploring. Make sure you have an MLS and a VLS representative, realtor and representatives. We are realtors, they're sales representatives, so you can explore and see everything. If you are looking for a pre-owned home, you will need both sides so you see all of the homes that are available. If you're only interested in new, well then you only need a sales associate because as MLS, we are not, we don't have the ability to show you a new home. Um, the rec centers. Now when you're considering uh, an area, I know I would have to say almost everyone wants to know where the nearest rec center is. And I spoke about this in a video I did, and I'll show you the thumbnail for it. It's uh, these things might change your perspective. Um, people get very hung up on wanting to be near a rec center. And my best advice is do not influence, make that be your influence because for the most part, you're not gonna be in the rec center. And the rec center that you might live near might not have any of the activities or meetings of the groups that you're looking to join because, you know, this is such a vast community. The um, rec centers, it's not like if you belong to, I don't know, this pickleball group, say, the pickleball group, I know there's a pickleball group that meets, not like, some of the groups I play in, but uh, that might be a bad example. So let me, let us say you knit and you belong to this knitting group and they meet on Tuesdays. You live near Seabreeze, but that group might meet up in, I don't know, Rohan. <clears throat> so just because it's not like every rec center offers every activity because the activities and the groups are organized by individuals. It's not the villages putting these groups together. Individuals like you and me can start a group <clears throat> and when and where we meet are up to us and the availability of the location that they want to have it in. So just keep that in mind. Um, everything is pretty close. I mean, some things are well, from one end to the other. It's far, but um, the pools, now, pools and rec centers, there are more the further south you go than the far north. Um, but pools are usually not that far away. Um, if you swim laps, there, you only can do that at a regional rec center, but your local mail station might have a pool that's closer than your rec center. So again, think about that rec center thing when you're looking at a pool or whatever, what's closer to your house. Just keep your options open because you never know what you're going to find and your mind might change. Um, so I think when it comes to lifestyle visit, you have the option of booking it through the villages, booking it on your own. Um, from what I've told 
the village's sales representatives are as hands-on or hands-off as you really want them to be. Yeah, they're going to be with you a day, and they're going to want to show you around, and you should let them take you around. But they're not going to be on you every second of every day trying to, well, they might try, but um, we all would because we want to sell you a home. But if you're in the exploration stage, please do that. Explore. Um, so I think that's it for this episode. You do have choices. Make them. My name is Robin Cavallaro. I'm a licensed realtor here and a buyer's agent in Florida. If you're looking to buy a home, you definitely want to give me a call. Uh, my phone number. And if you like this episode, you're going to want to check this one out. I think you're going to like it. All right. Until next time. I'll see you.